Grand Rising, everyone. It's Shay Seeking, and we are going to be reading out of the song. Wait, it's no, in this Bible, it's called Solomon's Song. Okay, um, and um, I don't know, this was kind of intriguing to me to hear so much, you know, of a um, so much passion or something in this story. Um, again, you know. I guess we look at this stuff as if, you know, sometimes when I'm reading this or the song of um, Solomon, I'm thinking like, wow, you know, this is kind of heavy or whatever for what you would think would be in the Bible. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and read a little bit of it because, again, I don't know, um, feeling some kind of way about this text um, today. So, um, and then we'll go into the book of I call it Barat okay so um, it says the church's fight and uh, victory in temptation okay and it says by night on my bed I sought him who my soul loveth I sought him but I found him not I will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the broad ways I will seek him whom my soul loveth I sought him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? It was but a little that passed. No, it was but a little that I passed from them. But I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rolls and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up nor awake my love till he pleaseth. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like a pillar of smoke, perfumed with myrrh, and frankincense with all powders of the merchant. Behold his bed, which is Solomon's threescore uh, valiant men are about it, of the valiant of Israel. They all hold swords, being experts of war. Even man hath his sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. King Solomon made himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. He made the pillars thereof of silver, the bottom thereof of gold, and the coverings of it of purple, the midst thereof being paved with love for the daughters of Jerusalem. Go forth, O ye daughters of, Jer of Zion, and behold, King Solomon with the crown, wherewith his mother crowned him in the day of his espousals and in the day of the gladness of his heart. It says here that Christ sitteth forth the graves of the church. And this is chapter four. Behold, thou art fair, my love. Behold, thou art fair. Thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Mount Gilead. Thy teeth are like flock of sheep that are even shorn, or shorn, which came up from the washing, whereof everyone bear twins, and none is barren among them. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet, and thy speech is comely. Thy temples are like a piece of a pomegranate within thy locks. Thy neck is like that, apology, thy neck is like the tower of David buildeth for an armory, wherein there hang a thousand bucklers, all shields of mighty men. Thy two breasts are like two young rows that are twins, which feed amongst the lilies until the day break. And the shadows flee away. 
I will get me to the mountain of myrrh and to the hill of frankincense. Thou art all fair, my love. There is no spot on thee. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse with me from Lebanon. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, it does say that. My spouse from me, uh, me from Lebanon. Look from the top of the Amana, from the top of Shenir and Hermon. From the lion's den, from the mountains of the leopards, thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse. Thou hast ravished my heart with one of thine eyes, with one chain of thy neck. How fair is thy love, my sister, my spouse. How much better is thy love than wine and the smell of thine ointments than all spices. Thy lips, O oh my spouse, drop as honeycomb. Honey and milk are under thy tongue. And the smell of thy garments is like the smell of Lebanon, a garden enclosed in my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Thy plants are an orchard of pomegranate with pleasant fruits, campfire with spikenard, and I just wanted to speak about spikenard um, because I found this in another text in the Bible. And I found out that it is an aphrodisiac. I thought that that was, you know, kind of, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> um, that has been used for centuries. Um, okay. So spikenard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon. And all trees of frankincense, myrrh, and aloes, with all the chief spices, a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. Awake, O north wind, and come, thou south, blow, uh, there's thou so south, blow upon my garden, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruit. Five. Christ awaketh the church with his calling. I am come into my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my myrrh and my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O friends, drink ye. Drink abundantly, O beloved. I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. For my head is filled with dew and my locks with the drops of the night. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have put off my coat. How shall I put it on? I wash my feet. How shall I defile them? My beloved put in his hand by the hole of the door. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my bowels were moved for him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> I rose up to open to my beloved and my hands dropped with myrrh and my fingertips with the sweet smelling myrrh upon the handles of the lock. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. My soul failed when I spake, when he spake. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. The watchmen that went about the city found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved, that ye tell him that I am sick of love. What is thy beloved more than another beloved? O thou fairest among women, what is thy beloved more than another beloved? And thou dost so charge us my beloved is white and ruddy the chiefest amongst ten thousand his head is as the most fine gold his locks are bushy and black as a raven his eyes are as the eyes of a dove by the rivers of the waters washed with milk and fitly set his cheeks are as beds of spices as sweet flowers, his lips like lilies, 
dropping sweet-smelling myrrh. His hands are as gold rings set with the barrel. His belly is as bright ivory overlaid with sapphires. His legs are as pillars of marble set upon sockets of fine gold. His countenance is as <clears throat> Lebanon excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet, yea, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. The church professeth her faith in Christ. Chapter six, whether thy beloved, wait, whether is thy <laughs> uh, beloved gone? O thou fairest among women, whither is thy beloved turned aside that we may seek him? With thee, my beloved is gone down into his garden to the beds of spices to feed the gardens and to gather lilies. I am my beloved's, and my beloved's is my, my beloved is mine. He feedeth among the lilies. Thou art beautiful, O my love, as uh, Tarza, comely as Jerusalem, terrible as an army with banners. <clears throat> Excuse me, turn away thine eyes from me. For they have overcome me. Thy hair is a flock of goat, uh, as if as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead. Thy teeth are as flock of sheep which go up from the washing, whereof every one uh, beareth twins, and there is not one barren among them. As a piece of a pomegranate are thy temples within thy locks. There are threescore queens and fourscore concubines and a virgin without number. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bear her. The daughter saw her and blessed her. Yea, the queen and the concubines, and they praised her. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as any army with banners. I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruit of the valley and to see whether the vine flourished and the pomegranate budded, or even I was aware my soul made me like the chariots of the Am <laughs> Aminadib. <laughs> return, return, O Shalomite. Return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the in the Shal Shalomite? As it were the company of two armies. Further description of the church's graces. How beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O princess daughter. The joints of thy thighs are like jewels. The work of the hands of a cunning workman. Thy navel is like a round goblet, which wanteth no liquor. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like two young rows that are twins. Thy neck is as a tower of ivory, thine eyes like the fish pools in Heshbon. By the gate of uh, Bathrabim, <laughs> thy nose is as the tower of the Lebanon which looketh down toward Damascus. Thine head upon thee is like caramel, and the hair of thine head like purple. The king is held in the galleries. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love, for delights. This thy structure is like a palm tree, in thy breast to clusters of grapes. I said, I will go up to the palm tree. I will take hold of the barrels thereof. Now also thy breast shall be clusters of vine and the smell of the nose like an apple and the roof of the mouth like the best wine for my beloved. Thou goest down sweetly, causing the lips of those that are asleep to speak. I am my beloved's and his desire is toward me. Come, my beloved, let us go forth into the field. Let us lodge in the villages. Let us get up early to the vineyards. 
Let us see if the vine flourish, whether uh, the tender grapes appear and the pomegranates bud forth. There will I give thee my loves. The mandrakes give a smell. And at our gates are all manner of uh, pleasant fruits, new and old, which I have laid up for thee. O oh, my beloved. Guess we'll keep going. I'll read this last one. <clears throat> the love of the church to Christ. The calling of the Gentiles. O oh, thou that wert as my brother, that sucked the breast of my mother, when I should find thee out, I would kiss thee, yet I should not be despised. I would lead thee and bring thee into my mother's house, who would instruct me. I would cause thee to drink of spiced wine, of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand should be under my head, and his right hand should embrace me. Hmm. I charge you, <clears throat> excuse me, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up, nor wake my love until he please. Who is this that cometh up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? I raised thee up under the apple tree. There thy mother brought thee forth. There she brought thee forth that bare thee. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. Let's see. Um, okay. For love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which hath a most uh, vehement smell. Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. <clears throat> Excuse me. If a man would give all the uh, substance of his house for love, it would utterly be uh, contem contemned. Okay. We have a little sister and she hath no breast. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? If she be a wall, we will build up upon her a palace of silver. And if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. I am a wall in my breast like towers. Then I was in his eyes as one that found favor. Solomon had a vineyard at Baal Haman. He let out the vineyard unto keepers. Every one for the fruit thereof was to bring thousands a thousand pieces of silver. My vineyard, which, uh, which is mine, is before me. Thou, O Solomon, must have a thousand, and those that keep the fruit thereof two hundred. Thou that dwelleth in the garden, the companion, hearken to thy voice. Cause me to hear it. Make haste, my beloved, and be thou like a roe, or a young heart upon the mountains of spice. The end. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, so I was just feeling like, you know, reading something that was a little bit more, you know. I don't know. I like that. I like that. I like uh, anything had to do with uh, Solomon. I'm in it. So I just wanted to thank you guys um, for listening. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. Let me know if y'all really know kind of what this is, you know, talking about. What you think? Um, some of these, some of it sounds kind of strange, but I don't know. It's very intriguing um, at the same time. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Take care.